So the next paper will be presented by Gu Miyano from Shizuoka Children's, and the title is Comparison of Laparoscopic Hepatic Urinostomy with Open Hepatic Urinostomy Can Stenosis of the Common Hepatic Duct Affect Postoperative Outcome. Thank you, Dr. Diefenberg, Dr. Martin, members and guests. We compared cortical cyst cases treated by laparoscopic hepatic jejunostomy or LHJ with open hepatic jejunostomy or OHJ with respect to hyla hepatic duct stenosis or HHDS. We've been focusing on a hyla hepatic duct plasty to prevent postoperative complications. The common hepatic duct is further resected at the confluence of the hepatic ducts, and if indicated, we make a transverse longitudinal incision along the hepatic duct confluence from the hepatic hilum to the bilateral hepatic bile ducts to obtain sufficient bile drainage and large anastomotic stoma. There were 27 patients in LHJ and 31 in OHJ, and demographics were similar between groups. HHDS was present 32% in OHJ and 37% in LHJ. There were significant differences from mean operative time, mean blood loss, recommencement of enteral feeding, and hospital stay. Hepatic duct plasty was performed in 68% in OHJ and 81% in LHJ. There were no intraoperative complications and no conversion to open. There were no significant differences between LHJ versus OHJ and LHJ stenosis, LHJS, versus OHJ stenosis, OHJS, for postoperative complications, including bile leakage, anastomotic stricture, and intestinal obstruction. Our LHJ is as effective as OHJ for the treatment of cortical cyst irrespective of the presence of HHDS. Our hyla hepatic duct plasty, however, cannot be utilized due to the small caliber of the common hepatic duct and may lead to anastomotic stricture or leakage, such as Todani type 1A cortical cyst. This is our current challenge. Thank you. Thank you. Any comments or questions? Well, you, oh, sorry. Please, go ahead. Dr. Chandrasekhar from Hyderabad. Uh, you seem to be doing duct plasty in a lot of patients. Uh, that's, Sorry? That's, you seem to be doing duct plasty, uh, hepatic duct stenosis. You seem to be diagnosing in a lot of patients. Now, what is your criteria to diagnose it as a stenotic duct? Well, you know, the uh, he hyla hepatic duct stenosis was uh, defined like uh, if there is a, a luminal narrowing through the laparoscopic view, as well as the intrahepatic bile duct dilatation, which is the, uh, confirmed by a preoperative MRCP or intraoperative chronography. But we do the hepatic duct plasty for the cases with uh, just narrowing of the intraluminal lumen, even without the intrahepatic bile duct dilatation. Do you have a cutoff, uh, say less than five millimeter, less than six millimeter duct? You do a duct plasty. Do you have a cutoff, something like that? We have what? Do you have a cutoff value of the duct size? If well, it is less than five the, millimeter, less than six millimeter. Yeah. Well, uh, that's a very difficult for the, you know, the, it's depending, sometimes depending on the size of the patient. So it's a difficult, but uh, you know, uh, we try to uh, figure out in the, each cases. As because in our experience, we have not required duct plasty in even one patient till date. I mean, yeah. We may be dealing with a different population. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you.